One of the most interesting races that we've been watching all evening, Texas House District 84 to replace the retiring John Frulo in the State House. This race, of course, between David Glasheen, Carl Tepper, and Kate Wilcox right now is looking like this will go to a runoff on May 24th between David Glasheen and Carl Tepper. Glasheen ahead by only about two points, something that we will be keeping our eye on. If one of these men does not break the 50% threshold, by the time those final numbers come out, once again, they'll face off on May 24th. And our Elizabeth Fitz caught up with those two men this evening. Elizabeth, what they tell you? Terry, Matt, House District 84 has been an exciting race so far. I'm here with Mr. Carl Tepper. Mr. Tepper, you might be facing a runoff with David Glasheen. How are you feeling about it? We're pretty excited about it. We weren't sure where we'd be at this point. Uh, we were greatly outspent. So um, the, the voters responded, and we're glad to be at this, the position we're in right now. And were you expecting the outcome of this today? Um, honestly, we thought it was touch and go if we'd make a runoff at all or if there would be a runoff. So we're very excited uh, that the race has tightened up. Uh, congratulate David Glasheen for getting this far as well. And we expect a spirited runoff campaign. Mr. Tepper, thank you so much. We also heard from David Glasheen. It's a tremendously encouraging start to the evening. I mean, it feels like a huge accomplishment to make it this far. And um, I'm just really honored that voters believe in my vision for Lubbock County and they think that I'm the right person to carry it out. I love the process of campaigning and I'd be excited to do it for a few more months because I'm uh, so excited to share my vision for the future of Lubbock County. And uh, I think that we can make really favorable comparisons with my opponents. There were no Democrats running in this race, so if early numbers stick and there's a runoff election on Tuesday, May 24th, whoever wins will have a seat waiting for them in Austin. Reporting from Northwest Lubbock, Elizabeth Fitz, KLBK 